Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome back to one of my English videos that I do. Today I have a Samsung CLX... Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, CLX 3175 uh, on repair and uh, this printer now works sort of, but uh, it had a problem with a, a ghost image, so I will now show you what I mean. Um, if you can see, it's not very easy to see, but uh, there are uh, um, toner residues of uh, the last printed page on uh, the next page. So, uh, the problem here is that uh, the image transfer belt is not cleaned correctly after a full printing cycle. So we need to operate on that particular component. Now, there are two ways to fix this printer. There is an easy way that involves uh, replacing the whole transfer belt. It's very easy, you don't need any tools whatsoever, but it's very expensive. These transfer belts are notoriously expensive, uh, so it's not uh, very good in my opinion on a printer that uh, it's like 10 years old. Or you can just replace the uh, blade that cleans the image transfer belt. That is so cheaper, not cheap, but cheaper, and uh, mm, you don't need to waste a lot of materials like uh, throwing away a uh, full uh, image transfer belt when uh, a lot of the components that are on there works. But uh, it's uh, a bit difficult to do, so I will show you both of uh, those methods and you will decide what to do next, so yeah, let's start. So. We are operating on a component inside of the printer, so obviously we have to start disassembling the printer. So now we'll move the camera a little bit closer. Okay, so here we are at the front of the machine and we need to remove all the toner cartridges. So we can just remove them like so, it's very easy. So In just a few seconds all removed. So now we need to remove the waste toner box and container. So the waste toner box you can see that has a big dent over here so if you get this on a flat surface chances are you will probably drop this um, very easily. So what I do usually is take something to place this on in order not to um, get this uh, all the waste toner of my floor. So we need to remove also the imaging drum. The drum is a component that is uh, susceptible to light so you have to pay attention to store it in a dark environment because that could damage the surface of the imaging drum. So now we can remove the transfer belt. Now down here there's a little connector that I will show you now Right there, you can see that connector. So you can just unplug it. It's uh, out of focus. Yeah, it's very easy. You just take that off, and uh, here there's uh, like a handle, and you can push towards you, well, pull, and uh, all the image transfer belt will come out, hopefully without any problems. So you have now the whole imaging transfer belt removed from the printer. So now we can take the printer away and uh, work on the image transfer belt because uh, the problem is inside here. If you want to replace the whole transfer belt, you can just take the new one, take that in, reconnect the connector and uh, you're good to go. But uh, I will show you even the more difficult way to fix the printer, so let's go on. So here we are in front of the image transfer belt. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank so much uh, Silvia, my best friend, for giving me this uh, uh, little tripod that I can use to make videos. This is just amazing. I, uh, I am so happy to have this now and uh, I'm so happy for all her support in, in all my life, so <laughs> out of my emotional moment here, uh, let's go on with the repair of this um, imaging transfer belt. Um, for uh, 
just a reference here is uh, the code if you're interested in that but uh, let's go on with the repair so so here you can see that we have two springs you have to disconnect those so it's uh, so much suggested that you use a, a spring hook like this you have two hooks on uh, uh, one hook on each side of the tool and uh, you can just uh, disconnect springs very easily without damaging them and uh, without uh, um, harming yourself so it's a, a recommended tool for doing things like that so the next thing you have to do is to remove these two screws on this plastic shell okay so now you can take all this part off of the transfer belt uh, make sure you don't uh, scratch or even touch the surface of the belt because uh, that's very delicate and you can damage that and you will see um, why <laughs> in the next minutes so now we can remove uh, this screw over here this is a grounding point so we need to remove that wire so now we have to uh, route these cables out of here just to get life a little bit easier for us uh, these can actually stay inside okay so now we have to remove uh, screws on uh, each side of the transfer belt I will show you where they are uh, we have uh, uh, three screws here on this metal plate and also three screws on this side to remove these two metal plates Probably this plastic part will come off, it's very easy to get back in place, I will show you how to get this back in the reassembly in a short time, so let's proceed. We have to disconnect these two parts of the image transfer belt, there are two points here where these two halves connect together, so we can separate these two parts and uh, uh, we can take this part at a side. Uh, you have to be careful because these parts are probably full of toner, so yeah. And uh, here at the bottom, I will show you just uh, in a moment, we have uh, the cleaning blade of the transfer belt. So we need to disconnect this just like so and replace this part because this part usually gets uh, um, so the rubber on this uh, cleaning blade usually gets deformed and uh, gets curved on this edge and gets gets pushed inward like this so there's no way to replace uh, this rubber mm, yeah you have to replace this whole part but uh, when you get uh, the new part the reassembly is pretty easy after you uh, see how every part connects so this goes like that and uh, we have to reconnect also this uh, part that is the uh, the assembly that uh, that gets all the waste toner inside of the waste toner container so now we need to get this back in place okay this side got in and uh, now the other side okay so everything is in place correctly now and uh, you need to check a few points at each side so you need to check this part that is like so and of course this part that is uh, connected with uh, the other side of uh, the um, image transfer belt and uh, at the other side it's pretty much the same you need to check this point over here okay this point over here and this point over here 
so at this point we can uh, reconnect all the cables and uh, all the things that uh, we disconnected in the first place so we route the cables in the uh, correct way like before okay so like so and we need to reconnect the grounding cable so we get our screw and uh, we reconnect the grounding cable on uh, the transfer belt here you have to make attention because uh, if you push too hard you can damage the surface of the transfer belt so you can just do so something like this you push a little bit down and uh, you get the screw in place because uh, if you don't you risk damaging the surface of the uh, transfer belt uh, um, with uh, the pressure that you apply on the rubber that uh, pushes on the belt so now we need to get these parts back installed but before we need to get back this plastic part over here if you look carefully here you can see that there's a point inside here I'll try to show you, okay and uh, you need to get this part inside in this orientation it's now in the right place and uh, the other part needs to go inside here let me see if I can show you there where I have the screwdriver now so in uh, this place here not under it so not under the metal part but inside of the metal because this plastic part have to uh, get the uh, the metal support for uh, the blade up and down like so you can see so it has to go in the middle of the metal piece so now it's pretty easy because you get this metal part and uh, you can just uh, take that on here it's pretty easy and get three screws one here one here and one here So now, after uh, getting this back, you can see that if I push on the plastic part, maybe at a focus, okay, we can move uh, up and down the metal support for the cleaning blade. Okay, so now we get uh, uh, to the other side and get the screw on the other side. So, we place the support here, like before and get three screws, so one here, one here, and one here. Okay, so after you have done this, you can just take this cover on this part. But uh, let me tell you one thing, the initial time where the um, blade is uh, touching and hurting the surface of uh, the uh, image transfer belt, this uh, black belt that runs here, uh, touches it, uh, it may damage in some ways. So it's recommended, if you can, to deposit a little bit of toner on this surface of uh, the uh, imaging transfer belt. You can get it uh, even from the uh, waste <laughs> container, but uh, you need to be careful that uh, if you have this part of the blade with a little bit of toner on that, it's so much better for uh, uh, this um, uh, possible problem. So now we can get this uh, plastic part on here and uh, get the screws. Okay. Now we can take the two springs and reconnect them in place. So I will just use my hook to get them installed. Okay. And same for the other side. Okay. So now our transfer belt is complete and we need to reinstall that inside of the printer. So here we are at the front side of the printer once again and ready to install our nearly our freshly referred um, 
image transfer belt. So installing the transfer belt is very easy. I just need to remove the drum. I reinstalled the drum because uh, the internal side of the printer is dark. Yeah. So to install the transfer belt is very easy. You just need to slide it inside here with this part up until it latches in position like so and uh, reconnect the cable of course because if you don't reconnect the cable the printer will not know uh, at what position the transfer belt is so you need to reconnect it now we need to get the drum back installed and uh, the toner waste uh, container and our toner cartridges so let's get them installed close the lid Connect the power cord and power the printer on. Now, as I said, I had already done this repair to this printer, so I don't expect it to work correctly because this printer has a, a little problem still. So, let me show you the behavior aside of the <laughs> noise that it makes. So now I will print uh, um, every report, let's print them, fine, this paper got mm, jammed inside, and there we are, so we have the two pages of uh, um, this report. So you can see that we have no ghosting, if I get the second page, the ghosting is gone completely gone, but you can see that uh, there are a few dots on uh, two parts of uh, the print. So this problem uh, relies within uh, the surface of the transfer belt. This printer not only had uh, a problem with, um, with uh, the cleaning blade, but also the surface of uh, the belt is uh, not in very good shape. So, um, of course, I knew that uh, uh, this problem was something of this printer, but um, I decided to repair it anyway and replace this part anyway, because uh, I think uh, this will not be a so big issue for uh, the majority of the users, and uh, it's always better to have a printer in this state rather than uh, in a landfill. So I think that's it, I will consider replacing the uh, transfer belt surface or not, but uh, uh, for now I think that's everything I want to do on this machine. So thank you for watching and for uh, who got at this point in this video, thank you so much and uh, I really suggest you to um, go and support my best friend Silvia on Twitch. Hi, I'm at your cat. You can find the link in the video description. She helped me so much in making this video and uh, every other video from now because of this amazing tripod that I have. So yeah, I think that's it. So thank you for all the support and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.